again YouTube. Uh, this time I'm coming to you from the MMB game server uh, to do a tour of a house that um, was an original tutorial by Corrales that I have rebuilt and so I figured I would show it off. I'll probably leave this as a video response to the original tutorial uh, to link it to that also but this is the house as you can see you know most of the outside is the same the pond over there with a small fountain over here's the entrance where I put welcome to J-Dogs made design by Corrales ed edited and built by J-Dogs and as I said most of the outside is still the same spawned a few trees did a few ponds as we go inside here you can see that one of the first things I did change is the carpeting as I enjoy the darker colors most of the time figured I'd put uh, make it a little bit more manly I guess you could say and then you know um, I will point out few, a few of the things that I did change as I go through the house um, just to show it off this here is still pretty much the same I'm not sure if he did this brown or orange or I don't remember the color but I went with brown because I like the color uh, this is pretty much the same here the kitchen pretty much all the same uh, even down to the little watermelon dispenser. Um, over here there's a small difference of the table I think. Uh, his was a little different here with some glass. And I also changed the carpeting to black and blue because those are the colors that I thought would go well with the front room. Uh, still have the TV and the CD player and everything else. Well, music player. Um, I did modify his little um, side door here, side room. Uh, to where it is actually a, a small entrance to my basement which I will show later uh, it's one of two entrances whoops, that I, I actually made um, I did modify the stairs just a little bit so that I could uh, do that modification down there also I wanted to add in this door because I thought it would, went really well to make this into a terrace uh, type area where you come out and look out you know, when you're waking up for the morning stretch your arms and you know enjoy the scenery out here. I did keep uh, the computer desk because, and I have gotten several compliments on the um, the monitor, the way that he did it with the picture frame, and I take no credit for that. I told them, you know, you ought to go check out the video by Corrales. I gave him a few view views there. Um, and I went with the skylight and the bedroom I don't remember if he did the stereo in the, in the seating here, but I thought it looked rather nice, and most of my ideas I get from a lot of his videos anyways. I did expand the bed a little bit to where it's just one large bed, like a king-size bed. Um, this is one of the larger changes that I did. He actually had this overlooking the bottom, and you can, as you can see, I made it into a, I guess you could say a small library of sorts as a viewing room because uh, I thought it had an excellent view and I just didn't want to cover it up and make it to where you couldn't really see so I decided to do that in one moment my apologies for that uh, I had a small phone here um, but as I said this is you know I, d I decided to turn it into more of a viewing room uh, slash library I guess you could say coming downstairs um, and to let you guys know I've actually tried to shoot this video several times and things just keep going wrong and wrong and wrong so I'm trying to make it through it uh, hence why I kept going even through the phone interruption uh, just because I'm trying to get it done um, here's the storage area that I have I love lots and lots of storage most of the time and I haven't even used half of it yet so that's that's what that is there uh, back here is just a small enchanting room I know you don't need all the bookcases but I decided to put it in because I thought it made it look really nice and some redstone lamps on the floor may, just made it stand out a lot more. Um, and and the basement he didn't have, so this is something that I added also. Um, he also had this as a garage up here in the top. I decided to knock the floor out and make it a secondary entrance as a shop. Um, over here is an entrance to uh, my mine that I have. And then if you come back this way, this is a uh, pretty much a replica of the monkey farm, chicken farm, that he did, except I have a few small changes that I did. 
Uh, first of all, the egg dispenser I do not have up here. I left it up in the main building, which I'll show you shortly. Uh, just because, you know, I, it was less work to have to bring it all the way down here and everything else. And then over here you can see that uh, I still have this original that he had. Uh, I find it easier just to, instead of doing the lava blade, I find it personally easier to um, just stand here with like a piece of wheat and as they hop in the fire they'll just walk toward me since I have a piece of wheat. Um, so that's the way that I do this still. I don't know if I'll ever switch to the lava blade way. And then my little crafting area. Uh, as you can see if we go out this direction it's the old what he had as a, a garage but we just don't we don't do the car thing here. I, uh, there's not a whole lot of plugins that they use here so I decided for that. Uh, and that over there is just a small sheep uh, building where they're just kind of hold up in their own little separate areas, different colored sheep, just to help me get uh, wool and things because uh, I would say about 99% of all of this, and I am not AFK, I don't know what's going on with them, uh, but I would say about 99% of this uh, was collected the old-fashioned way. Uh, I did not go out and buy all of it or, or use creative mode or anything like that, so you can see the backyard here was done similar to his. Uh, pretty much exactly like he had his because I, I really enjoyed the way it looked um, and I did use lapis for the pool because I, I think it gives a really good look to it uh, because I use Mises uh, lapis block here so that, I thought that was a great idea to use um, and then to show off very quickly for the end of the video I'll go over the side here and show you my little chicken coop and this is the other part of the monkey farm uh, chicken farm and I actually had a fr friend of mine help me here on the MNB game server uh, by the name of Thy Demented and uh, he helped me shape the egg here and then I built the rest of the building and I, th I wanted it to look like you know half an egg stuck in the ground kind of thing and it worked out really good and a little tribute to Paul Source Jr. here uh, J-Dog Spy Chicken Headquarters so as we go in here you'll see that I've actually got a small dispenser here hooked up to uh, or a small switch here hooked up to a dispenser where you can see the chickens in here and good thing I have the sound turned down so you don't have to hear them um, but that's pretty much it uh, thanks for watching my video uh, like the video if you like it uh, feel free to comment whether negative or uh, positive as I take uh, everything you know as constructive blah, there's a big word constructive criticism uh, so hopefully uh, you guys continue to tune into my videos, uh, subscribe, like, all that good stuff, and I look forward to seeing you in my future videos. Peace out.